Hello everyone. Welcome back to your English class. I'm Jasmine and this is the 7th module. In this module, we will try to find out answers to some of the textual activities. Let's begin. In your textbook page number 3, there are some expressions given and they have asked to infer their meaning from the context. Let's discuss those expressions. You can read the expressions are the thought was almost revolting, an expanse of pure white serenity, a turning point, accepted her seclusion with resignation, a veritable bedlam of chirpings, frivolous rebukes, the sagging skins of the dilated drum. Now let's infer the meaning of those expressions. The first one, you can see all these expressions in the textbook, which is uh, printed in bold letters. The first one, the thought was almost revolting. Here, the thought that the author's grandmother was once young and pretty raises a doubt in the mind of the author. He finds it too hard to believe. Now, the second expression, an expanse of pure white serenity. This expression is used when the author describes her grandmother. It refers to the calm, peaceful and serene character and conduct of the author's grandmother. She is compared to the peaceful winter landscape in the mountains. The next one, a turning point. It refers to the point where the author's relationship with his grandmother changes drastically after they move to the city house. The next one is accepted her seclusion with resignation. This shows the author's grandmother's passive submission to her secluded life after she gradually loses touch with her grandson. The next one is a veritable bedlam of chirping. It refers to the noise, confusion and chaos caused by the chirping of the sparrows that scattered and perched around the author's grandmother. Next expression, frivolous rebukes. It refers to the casual and light-hearted rebukes of the grandmother to the sparrows. Next one, the saging skins of the dilapidated drum, which means uh, the shabby and deteriorated condition of the old drum. With that, the expressions are over and now let's uh, try to find out the answers to some of the questions which is given in page number 6 of the textbook. The first question is mention the three phases of author's relationship with his grandmother before he left the country to study abroad. So in your answers, you can include all these points. The three phases of the author's relationship with his grandmother before he left the country to study abroad are given below. The first phase was the period of the author's early childhood, which they spent together in the village. Uh, so during this phase, he used to live with his grandmother in the village. The grandmother used to take care of him while he was going to school and even coming back from the. And you can see during this time, both of them share a good friendship with each other. And then comes the second phase where the author tells that was the turning point of their friendship where both of them were taken to the city by the author's parents. Then the third and final phase, uh, it was the time the author joined the university. He was given a separate room and thus the common link of their friendship was snapped or closed the grandmother turns to wheel spinning and reciting prayers all day long. She accepts her seclusion with silence. The next question mentioned three reasons why the author's grandmother was disturbed when he started going to the city school. There are many reasons you can find out from the chapter. And uh, some of them are the author's grandmother was unhappy after knowing that the things taught to him at school were related to Western science and learning. Secondly, she did not believe such things that were taught at his new school. 
she was disturbed that there was no teaching about god or holy scriptures and thirdly she was unhappy with the idea of music lessons being given at school because she considered music as suitable only for the people with low dignity the disapproval of the grandmother was visible in her silence also next question which language do you think the author and his grandmother used while talking to each other so we already know that the author kushwan singh is from punjab thus they might have used their mother tongue to converse with each other the next question mention three ways in which the author's grandmother spent her days after he grew up so a model answer to the question is the author's grandmother accepted her seclusion with resignation she spent her days of loneliness by engaging herself in the wheel spinning activity reciting prayers and feeding the sparrows the next question mention the old way in which the author's grandmother behaved just before she died the answer can be written like she had omitted to pray she was not going to waste any more time talking to any of them she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her beads even before anyone could suspect her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers with this i am winding up the session i hope it was helpful to you thank you